Welcome back everyone to our second match here and our second map in this series between Complexity and Envy. It's on Vertigo. Currently Envy do have the 1-0 to zero map lead and they are making their way in. Not downtown, but at least towards this A-bomb site where only one player is going to be waiting. Yeah, it's all left on to Shazam. Has himself the P2K rotation already coming in from the rest of his teammates. Gonna be spotting out Sonic, but unable to do anything about the plant going in and the nades doing damage once again. Shazam dinked up and oh, we have a full-on retake on our hands. Watching for the flank, but there's no flank coming. Nifty will finally be the one to start things off as this 5v5 retake ensues. And oh, Nifty just playing aggressive, looking for more, trying to find an extra pick or two. It doesn't seem to matter though, as his teammates have done damage elsewhere, just holding back onto this ramp. There's no real utility, and that's what you need in these sort of retakes. You need a smoke. All they had was flashbangs, and well, now all they have is sit. Looking to try and turn the tide, but it isn't going to be happening. Envy take the T pistol and get off to another flying start. You know, I, I think we were talking the break uh, with our observer Rush uh, about how much he loves spectating Vertigo matches. Yeah. And he actually, you know, he, he said to us, he's like, watch, next time that I observe Vertigo, I'm not going to miss a single kill. And if I do, he said his words, said he was going to shave his beard completely <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it's almost as likely as you shaving your head again. That's pretty likely. It is really hot outside. <laughs> All relationships aside, it is really <laughs> hot outside and it's definitely a possibility and might be worth the risk. Yeah, but it's, it's the trade-off. Like, okay, your head will be cooler, but it may also get sunburn. Bold people problems. I can wear a hat. I don't go yeah, outside. Yeah, but then you're warm again. I don't go outside. Well, then why does it matter? Because I can stay How cool you have home? a fan? You know what? <laughs> I have two of them. You've seen them. <laughs> Here we go. Do we need that coming through? And that was uh, uh that was kind of underwhelming. I was hoping it would it would it's bounce Ju back. It's June, right? Cuz that was a lot of fireworks but with no real bang. It's 4th of July. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Don't celebrate I'm English. Yeah. It's our Independence Day when we won the war against the aliens. <laughs> and Will Smith saved us. Hmm. What about the second one? Didn't watch that. That one. didn't exist. I, I don't know what happened. There wasn't a second one. one. <laughs> Here we go. Set up once again. Heavy investment from the CT side. They've used up all their utility. It's just going to be onto the pistols. Lots of Deegs and a single CZ. Already, the CZ will fall. Damn, trying to get a little bit more aggressive. But again, it's, it's these tough positions when you don't have any utility these sort of retake positions. They're trying to deny just by spamming through, hoping they can stop the plant, but that isn't going to be the case. And again, we can see exactly the same scenario from the T side. They'll just fall back, hold passively, and hope that the CT's come running into their crosshairs. Nice work from Oba to at least get one, but now him and Ricky are both tagged, and I think Sick may try and just pick off one more player before he leaves. In fact, it's actually Ricky sticking around, but ultimately... Not really much they can do once the bomb goes down. As I said, you need a lot of utility in these sort of retakes, or in any retake, really, but especially when you're just going to have the full team sat back towards ramp. And um, from the T side perspective, not really any reason to hunt here. You say that, but you know, you talk to my matchmaking group that plays, and they say you don't need utility on a retake. Yeah, but they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you tell them that because they don't listen to me. I would also advise not listening to you as well, so. Hmm. So those New York qualifiers we were talking about. <laughs> here we go. Two to zero. Not going to be much more invested here for complexity. Just a, a little bit of extra utility onto sick. They can't afford anything else. They're waiting for that big bolstered buy in the next round. And, well, ultimately, that's where the match really begins after the pistol loss. For MV, this is a chance to build up an extra bit of bank. Like, you see this more often from the CT side where they go for the force buy and then save an extra round. And that's the only way, really, that you can have the extra cash built up to go for rebuys in the future. For the CT side, you're not going to get this very often just because the Ts normally take just the one round save and then buy up with the AKs anyway. So, Nifty 
just styling on the players as they look to push aggressively towards him. And we have seen the same round, three rounds in a row, Jason. It's very exciting. They've got the bomb down on A again. Your enthusiasm is really getting me excited to cast some Counter-Strike here. I just wanted to be the buy rounds. <laughs> Even then, we're still probably going to see the bomb going down on A quite a lot. That, that is the problem. Has so my question is, has Rush missed a kill yet? I don't think so. I, d I don't know. He, he's, he said <laughs> no. But, like. but we're watching. We're watching. The second he misses one, I'm getting out the razor from my bag that I obviously have in my backpack. I, this seems like a threat. He's just switched to this and it says, your safety is our priority. Your beard is my priority right now. And it look, this, this site has had six injuries. Maybe it'll be seven, Jason, if you don't stop talking. <laughs> Rush's revenge. I think you look quite well with a shaved beard. And also look quite well to get Complexity's Goose Egg off the scoreboard. They definitely need to round here after already losing that first map. This was their map of choice. I was wondering if they chose this specifically because of the fact that they saw Envy play it just before against ATK and they expected some sort of way or knew some sort of way to punish them. Or maybe it's just a map that they're good at as well. Oboe, unfortunately, being naded down to 41 health before he even sees a single player. Molotov comes in as well to dislodge him. But Shazam is looking for the shot. He knows Snifty's there. He knows there's at least one player, but the angle hasn't been gifted to him just yet. And it might not because we can see the, them retreating away from that A ramp. Uh, it's worth mentioning the last time they played this map, they lost 16-1. So, um, not, not the best signs in the world. But um, I think we see a lot of teams trying to bring this into their map pool at the moment. It's just whether or not they can. Like, I, I think practice gives a lot of teams a false positive. But I'm hoping that that will not be the case here for complexity and they can show us what they've got on this map. Rookie looking to get a little bit more aggressive. We see this a lot over towards the B stairs. Spraying down, does some damage and helps out Sick with the dunk. Now the T's looking at pressure, but they're losing too many players. Android's going to be the only one to get anything done. And complexity, they get their first buy and they get their first round on the board. First round envy, don't go A and they lose the round. Coincidence? To be honest, you're, you're not even wrong. That, that's the worst thing about this map at the moment, that basically the strategy is go A as much as you can and then go B once or twice to throw them off the fact that you keep going A. That's vertigo. That is it. That's what defined. Well, let's see if they do switch things up, though. As you see, Sonic already being taken out of the fight. Fortunately, he had no rings left for a second chance. To be fair, it does suit him because a lot of the time it seems like he's rolling around at the speed of sound. Android, once again. Can he have to find an opener? Def. Well, that's probably the, one of the most common Molotovs you'll see. He almost definitely has to have a smoke if he's ever going to play in that aggressive mid position. Nifty's making a lot of noise over here, though. This could be very. Lucky that Ricky hasn't pushed him yet. He's going to spot him out and gets the kill there. Now the B-side's going to be open. Smoke going to go down. Though I don't know if he expects it to be fully open. But Duff's going to make his way around towards this B-side, I would assume, as the bombs be planted inside the smoke at a Fugly. We still have Som, though, lurking over towards the A-site. So potential for him to play spoiler here. And that's if the complex even tries to go for it. I would almost want to say 2v4. No money, you might as well just save these weapons, especially if you can save the AWP for Shazam, but he wouldn't have a chance. Som will be there, Som will take him down, and now Death might be able to get one, but that should pretty much be all that he wrote. All that he wrote, she, all that's written. <laughs> and now, now it's just got completely like, destroyed. <laughs> uh, I really like the, just, the, just the surrender, the oh, wow, that was written. He's got tomatoes in my eyes. <laughs> Don't feed a dunk donkey sponge cake. Was that what it was? What? Donkey and sponge cake. I think it was. A, it was. Don't feed a donkey sponge cake. That's I what I said. I thought you said. Don't feed a duck no, donkey, donkey sponge cake. No donkey. Okay. I mean, or duck. I guess. I mean, it's probably not good for him. <laughs> That's the I don't know. For anybody wondering, we were looking up weird sayings. Okay, don't say we. You were looking them up. Okay, I was looking and up And I was just enjoying sayings. them. Yeah. 
But unfortunately, Complexity they didn't save the op. They only got the SG. I mean, at least that's something. They have some weapon to use. That's better than death going down the last round as well. But the op would have been much better if they could have maintained it for Shazam. But we talked about opping on this map a little bit earlier on uh, in our first series. So I'm curious to see if they've been able to find a way to use it a little bit better, especially with the way you take the ace side. You, know, you, you completely smoke off any op opper. You give them no chance to um, be effective. And it's all about the retakes where you don't really want an op in that situation. But they have been leaning the op. Actually, no, where have they been leaning the op? I don't actually know fully what site Shazam was playing with it in the prior rounds. Oh, we'll have to wait for the next. It looks like he's saving extra money to have it in play. But yeah, there's been a few sort of different points of contention coming out from Envy. Like they, they've been battling mid in the form of Android quite a bit. And he's been able to help them with their openers into the site. And interestingly, they've actually been fighting B quite a bit. I, I will say that B seems to work quite well for their style, just in the fact that it's normally just out and out aim battles. Like you can have a, a few bits of utility, but a lot of the time we see the CT side playing so passively. Like you'll have that back quad Molotov, which a lot of teams will use, but it's basically just to force them into an open aim battle with you. And and I think that's why Envy really does come up trumps because they've got so many, well, just strong individuals. And Nifty again, like I, I think he's always so prime when it comes to this Envy roster. Like as said, he's either lurking or he's playing that entry role and whichever he seems to be doing, he seems to be very successful with it, which, but I think if you look at any team in the world, if their entry fragger is playing well, it, it makes the game a lot easier. Like some of the best Counter-Strike you'll see from Vitality is when Apex is playing well. The same can be said for Astralis when you look at Dupree. Like, okay, you've got your star player, you've got the people you expect to play well, but if your entry fragger's pulling off crazy plays, that's going to make things a hell of a lot easier. Now Oboe, he shouldn't get out of his Shazam's actually over on towards this A site this time, and as the T's have gone back in this direction, it seems to be quite a heavy stat, but watch out for Nifty. If he gets this kill, we could see the full rotation. Rike knows he's there, but through the Molotov, Nifty goes, even peeks back into it. He's taken so much damage. This time, I don't think the opener's been gonna go his way. The rest of the team, gambling, oh. he still gets the shot. How does he manage this? So often as well. He's going to try and utilize the gap in the smoke. He's drawn the defenders in. The A side's completely open. Oh, he, he, this is just what I mean. Like, you talk about what this guy can do, and then he shows it in the exact round. The question is, though, like, you can see them taking their time over on towards A. Android's just going to throw out utility, but the fact is, this round... If Nifty gets one more, this round is 100% done. Right now, if they kill him off and just move on, then they've got a chance. But they've got such a long rotation back towards the A site. And just look at the positions. How does Sonic not get that kill? Shazam peeks in. And now they've got a chance. They shouldn't have had one here. Nifty set up Envy to be in the perfect position. Now we see Android in the same position we saw in the earlier map. Passive, and Shazam is going to check it straight away. Great work from Complexity to bring that back, but it never should have been. Even the bomb getting planted was was way more than should have happened in that round. All because of Nifty able to win on that 1v1 against Ricky. Then able to get a second as well to draw all the defenders away yeah. from the A site. But if Sonic hit that shot, that should have been Envy up 6-1. Well, yeah, that that's the thing. Like the, Him getting that aggressive, like a lot of the time I would fault it. Because in the 2v2, they probably do still at least get close to winning that round. But just the fact that that's such an easy kill for him to take and... Well, props to Shazam for just peeking wide into the angle and just wrecking him, but I think he's going to feel a bit hard done by Som, however. Not one to worry. Already gets the early pick, but this time Ricky will put down Nifty early. As said, he's been the man to beat so far for complexity. Android's been fairly successful into middle, though, but oh, just gets past the timing. A second later and he's dead for sure. Instead, not going to be much information at the moment from the CT side. But they do know that they're not fighting mid anymore, which like, most of the time, at least from my perspective, that would pull the assumption over onto A. Because, well, why would it, if you need mid really to take B just so you can have the cutoff of rotations, even still, they're just going to go for a two ban play on this site. I'm surprised they're not mauling that, uh, that sandbag where Oba's been holding like quite a few rounds. 
Android comes in, gets the first entry on a death. Som as well is going to chime in. Six, going to get one before he does die, though. It's down to three on two. Now down to a two on two. Is the Ogre trying to go for the spam on a Sonic, but Sonic will win the trade. Give him the two on one. However, the bomb has yet to be planted. And you can see they're waiting for Rickett to round this corner. They're expecting him to be here. The smoke's going to come down. Will he push through it? And he does. Sonic going for the plant. Tries to jump away, but Ricky hits the shot. That's two kills from this round, but now he's in a 1v1 against Som. He spots oh, him out, but Som gets the better of him. And Envy's going to be up 6-2 to two now, but Som gets three kills in that round. Yeah, he's another one in their series earlier that was a bit quiet on Dust2, but had a really good game of Vertigo. Mm, and that's the thing. If you have a map where both Nifty and Som are going to play well, that's the map you want to be playing. Even if Sonic may not be having the best performance, he's been the most consistent out of a lot of them today. If, if those two are popping off, it, it doesn't matter. Like they'll they'll still take this map, and something Please needs to be done that. from complexity. Oh! Nope, clearly not. Well, they didn't rescue the weapon, and Sonic's holding it. So, is that the bomb? Yeah. Oh, nice shot from Obo. You have to assume he didn't know he had a bot had the bomb there. Oh, oh okay. there we go. Oh. oh, there we go. Sonic's starting to pop off as well. You get those eco frags. You go, girl. Well, those are the sort of frags as well that it definitely the boosts his confidence. Oh, get out! <laughs> <laughs> How does he get away with that? Okay, confidence has now hit maximum peak for Sonic, and that, that's not something you want if you're complexity. He clearly had his amp game fuel today and had a Chipotle burrito for hitting shots like that. Four kills, two of them headshots, one of them on a falling target. What's wrong, Tom? You just figuring out how to sell out? I'm pretty sure you don't benefit anything from those sellout calls, but hey. Hey, anything I can do to keep Chipotle in business. So that one, that one day I get to go back to the U.S. again and eat one of the delicious double wrap chicken burritos. I'll do it. Android, take down Def with the initial frag in towards middle. Sick though, gonna get the spray down onto two. That's Android and Nifty gonna be out of the fight in this round. But Som is still alive. So is Fugly. Well, just Fugly now. And one on three. One on four technically, since Sick still has one HP left. Don't want to count him out too early. <laughs> This is, again, another very, very tough position. How much damage can they do? That's the real question. Just look at the economy of Envy. Considering that they've won a few rounds in a row, it's been close. You can tell that off the money alone, even if you've just tuned in now. I'm not going to want to just save here. I will still be able to buy into the next round anyway. It won't matter. Sick with a great round. Just the, the aggression that came up from him was the change up that complexity needed. Like the challenge into middle has been a bit of a problem for them and it's always just been the same duel again and again off death. So the fact that they throw him in as a bit of a surprise is exactly what they needed to catch out Envy with that aggression. They're actually not going to go for an investment into this one. It would have been with some weaknesses behind it. So Envy already seven rounds on the board. Do expect the T side to get the victory here. Like it is still a T side map, just based off the problems of holding this ramp. The deep smoke thrown in, but actually not that much, ag much aggression really played off of it. So it's more just a, a bit of a bait. And actually, the fact that Oboe's throwing nades there means he doesn't even expect them to have sat behind it. He still thinks that they're probably going to aggress through, which they will eventually do. I'm interested to see where those three nades are going to go. Have they like predicted a position of one of these players? Have they got a setup? Shazam should be able to get the opener and will. Drops the bomb, which has now been spotted. Nate's going to be thrown out, but at this point, I think it's too little, too late. Nice cleanup from the CT side, looking to build some cash of their own, which they've struggled to so far, but a flawless round like that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Well, we did have it a 4-11 score line for uh, Envia. That they took 11 rounds on the T side when they're up against ATK, and then they did eventually finish off with five more. But 7-4 is not a bad a score line. I mean, we, we talk about Vertigo, and we, we think back to the EPL finals and talking about how Team Liquid four rounds is more than enough on that T side uh, for them to win. But Envy on the CT side didn't look as clean and crisp as they looked on the T side from that earlier match. I feel like Complexity should be a step above ATK when it comes to this. But this was their map choice. For complexity, I mean. 
And for them to keep their hopes alive to get into Chicago, they need to win this map. They need to go on to train. And at the moment, Ricky is going to need to hit these shots because he's going to have a lot of company coming his way. Oh, oh my <laughs> God, Nifty. He has a family. Ooh, this could be interesting. Both of them are setting up nades. Sick could get the perfect timing. That's actually the bomb as well. Spots one. Oh, they line up perfectly for him. This is going to be so painful. That's the bomb drop. Luckily, Nifty's there to at least get the trade and the push through from Android. He burns down to six HP, but it doesn't matter because he found the kill. Leaves it into a 2v3. And the T's have got to be sort of questioning here. Do they actually start to rotate back? They don't. And Obo is able to jump through the window. Splatter the brains across the wall. Shazam is now going to find another. It's left all onto Sam. As said, there seems to be a map. Oh, wait. That is he going to fight him. them both? Is he really going to fight them both? Oh, they, they shut the door. Luckily, yeah. No, I think I don't I, think I don't think Oba saw him, but he's going to get the flank on both. Oh, Can no. he get both kills? Though is the real question. Or is anyone going to turn around? Is he going to be able to get here in time to spot both players? He hears Oba walking. Oba's going to turn around at the perfect uh, moment. Psalm's position is not given up. The bomb is not in his hands. And now he's got to rush this one down with 20 seconds left. He's not going to see Sujan towards right, actually towards the right hand side. And he's not going to have a chance to fight that one out. And Complexity will take the round. Really quickly, Tom, as well, just to give a quick update, because obviously there still is another match happening at the exact same time. Right Squad against New Identity. That's the other semifinal at the moment. We have New Identity with a 1-0 lead, winning 16-9 on Train. And they're up 14-12 to 12 on Mirage. So the potential for the 2-0 is there for New Identity. And also Wrath, 26-20. It's a player I really yeah. want to see. On Train, he was plus 11, I believe. Ooh. Would like to see this player because he was doing some stand-up performances earlier on in the match. But this is the match we're watching here currently. The nade's going to be coming through. And that's some good damage being done. Yeah, that, that's a rip. They're just standing in the flames and Death just using his utility perfectly here. Even still, though, two kills coming up for the side of Envy. They're trying to keep this complexity side honest. Sonic should be absolutely fine in this corner if the flames spread that far. I think he's been quite hard done by, but he's just going to wait. There's a lot of time left on this clock. Death peeks in and, well, he's going to get four kills. Some eco frags for him. And a sixth now on the ball for the complexity. So we were worrying a little bit earlier in the half when, let's say, a 7 2 RMV looked fairly dominant, but they have stabilized and been able to bring this back into contention. And as said, that this is a map where I expect to see quite a few more rounds coming out on the T side. You mentioned, obviously, Liquid able to do it. That They do obviously have some of the best Sentry Fraggers in the world, which I think is such an important factor on a map like this. But. That's where things will get interesting, because I think Envy definitely do have the sort of players that can hold down a site single-handedly. It's just whether or not they can actually do it on this map. They're probably going to want to get the last couple of rounds on this one at least. Well, already starting to make their play towards the B site. A fast rotation coming in from oh. the remaining CTs. He saw Nifty's head, didn't he? Ricky peeking out. It's actually going to be deaf to find the first and Android just takes his head clean off. Now they look to continue this push, but there's so many players already here. Som just hoping to get something around the edge of all their smokes. But the fact is the connection not coming in, but he'll get two. Somehow turns things back. Now Obo trying to do the same. Already gets one, but again, it's just a trade. And Sick left alone with Sonic getting a double. It's MV to get their eighth. They bounce back once again, and just look at the disparity of the money on complexity. And one player on 11,000, the other on two. And so luckily, they'll be able to share the wealth. The bank of Obo and Shazam will bail them out in this scenario, at least. And that will mean that we have a full buy on either side for the last round of the half. I feel like obo has been consistently pushing smokes, like time and time again. Thinking back to Inferno, uh, on the A side, he did it multiple times. He seems to be doing it here as well. He got a chance to be a real hero there on that play. And, well, I guess the rest of the team is stepping up to be heroes here. As Sick and Shazam is able to take down two quick kills. But I, I respect that. I like that. I, I actually, I get so frustrated when people are not as inclined to do that. Obviously, I understand, like, the risk that goes involved with it. But the reward, the potential payoff is, can be just as nice. Fugly and Nifty alone against four players and... Not sure where Fuggy was looking as Nifty's by himself and completely flashed up. And that will be Complexity taking the half to 7 to 8, still in favor of Envy. And we'll be heading to a short break to find out what's going to happen, what's the conclusion of this map, and if we're going to a third.
might have won that little arm up round, but they've not won the game just yet. Complexity still down eight to seven. Looking to change their star. Sorry, you can't see my camera, but give me Tom this like this grin because their their logo's a star. Yeah, but know? I don't get it in Changing terms of your stars, you never heard that term? No. It's like changing your destiny. Oh. I'm guessing that's probably an American it thing. It was probably in some Disney film, I think. Mulan, yeah. maybe? Sounds, sounds like uh, it was from Mulan. Yeah. Anyways. Don't know my Disney films as well as I should, I guess. Tell me you've at least seen Moana. Moana? Yeah. It's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we're never <laughs> casting together again. <laughs> Just like Sonic's not going to have a second chance in this pistol round as he quickly gets disposed of, though, Android... Going to meet the same fate. It looks like Complexity is going to do something relatively similar to what Envy did on the T side in their pistol room. Push the A site, plant the bomb, and play after plant. Yeah, and there's no way getting back into this. It's so difficult to just find picks back towards the ramp. Some will at least be able to close the aggression from Shazam. The fact is, though, the rest of the team are just sitting passive and, well... To clear all of these different angles. going to be very difficult. I think he's just going to try and go for the defuse. But this is... Well, yeah. Good luck. Good luck. No. That shouldn't be possible. He, he's actually got it. He got... How? I... I just don't even... Like, how? How How does that happen? <laughs> no. But they get the knife kill. I guess that's a small bonus. Jason, take it away. I've got nothing. What just happened? Did was he was, was he one v three, one v four, one v four? And he diffuses in the smoke. Not even in the smoke. He threw the smoke to the side. If they just walked around it, they could see him. I mean, they knew where the bomb was planted. <sighs> well, you can even like uh, I I just can't I can't explain it. Well done to some for just pulling that off it was impressive but i think complexity are going to be kicking themselves luckily you know the funniest part about this was i, I saw twitch chat for a second and someone said nine seven i'm like dude he's one v four there's no way that's gonna happen <laughs> what is he like re is he in the future I was, I was questioning myself like is it really gonna happen and then he defused it i'm like wait this guy whoever that was in twitch chat is a god and i needed all betting advice from you please well They've come back in with the AKs. Not much utility. Nifty on the other side. He's going to get wrecked. And actually, Shazam's going to be killed by his own teammate. It doesn't seem like it's going to be mattering too much anyway. Oh, come on. You had a, you're perfect. Come on. Taste of his own medicine. Come on. Four times. <laughs> I mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Shazam alone. Such a bully. He's such a nice guy, though. God. So that makes it okay. <laughs> you can bully nice people. <laughs> well, lots of low players over on the other side, but this could actually work out better for complexity. I wouldn't recommend the route that they've taken to get to where they are, but it means that for Envy, they're not going to have that extra loss bonus that you get if you lose the pistol. Instead, they're going to be back to the good old $1,400. Sure, Android will have something a little bit extra. <laughs> Sorry. Twitch has just caught up to where to, to what I said about yeah. So when Twitch that said nine seven, and everyone's like me, it was me, me, it was me. Yeah, of course <laughs> it was. You're all liars. I'm tempted to go back to the VOD, find him, and then mod him in the channel, even though I don't have mod yeah, access. Yeah, I was about to say you don't even have. Give that him. Power. I'll give him my VIP. Man deserves it. Well, either way, nine to eight complexity do take the second round. So luckily, to be making up for the mistake from their pistol round. Nice little smoke coming through. And, ooh, just barely. Barely lands in. Let's block off Som for some information as they are going to make their way up. They have the AKs. But again, you're fighting against pistols in close quarter combat, so... I don't know technically who I'd really favor here. Oh, it's such a scripted boost at this point. The opposing team... Well, are checking this, but they're not anymore, so... 
there's actually an opportunity for some to take this shot. Watches over, and there is the pick. Drops the bomb as well, so we'll be able to delay the time a little bit. And normally that wouldn't play that big a part, but considering all the smokes have already fallen, this could be a pretty big deal. Android's found one, and the fight from Death's not going to be enough. Android actually putting up numbers, and now those smokes are going to begin to fade. Shazam has to try and get aggressive, and that's what he does. Gets the kill, but this is what I mean. The utility's faded. All they have is flashbangs. Luckily, they've done enough damage that realistically they should be able to do this anyway. 45 seconds left on the clock. Flashbang around the corner. Doesn't quite match up to Som. And now it's left all on to Ricky. They're looking good to bounce this back once again. He's only got six kills to his name, so definitely needs to step up. Oh, boy, so close. So close to dropping one of these players, and that could make the world of difference, start to separate these different players apart. But now, 20 seconds left on the clock. He's going to have to try and move into this crossfire. Needs a quick kill, needs to try and remove one player from this triangle of death. There's the first, the second as well, but the third will put him down. Nifty there to close it. And a strong round out from Envy. Like I said, I don't know who I really favor in that situation because <laughs> it's close quarters. But let's be honest, the way Complexity walked into the site, it was basically Gladiator. It was like one player at a time against yeah. three. Then one player at a time against three. One player at a time against three. There was no like refrag. There was there was no peeking together. I don't, I'm not sure why Complexity went that route. Maybe they expect it to be a lot easier than it was because they're up against pistols, but they paid the ultimate price. You now Envy pull off a big round or up 10 to eight and Complexity, well, they're basically on the safe. Oh, that, that's the thing, though. Oboe's ball. Are they actually going to invest into this round? Because, well, pretty much okay. what you said, this looked like a save round. Like, they had about 2,800 on a lot of players. So going into the next, okay, maybe you invest a pistol or two, but you have a buy in the next round. So instead, they're going to risk the force by wars. Now, they win this round... They set Envy back to nothing. And th the great thing about that is, is because it's been going back and forth, there hasn't been a build-up of loss bonus, which is the main thing that the economy changed, is that, say you lose five in a row, you win one, you lose one, you're back on loss bonus again. But if it's just back and forward all the way across, no money is being built up for the CT side. And I guess that's why they've gone for something here. That's why they've risked it, but get to see whether or not it's worth it. The buyout from the CT side is actually a decent one this time as well. Android going to be up above. Not with the Nort, but with the AUG. But it's not going to be seeing anything. Just utility. He's going to throw out a counter of his own. You can see the T's goal is to try and get the bomb down and then fall back into these passive positions again. But we saw what they struggled with in the previous round. And that was just their smokes fading. All their utility going away. Well, speaking of utility, there's still going to be two smokes left, two Molotovs and two flashbangs for complexity. Maybe they're trying to fake a retreat here as the secondary smokes will come through. Molotovs as well being thrown in. And now they should be scripting that they're going to make a push in towards the safe side. They're out of utility. They should I do that? We get the bomb down. You can see a little boost coming in for Som trying to see over the smoke as he's trying to spam down a Shazam. He hears the bomb being planted, but he can't quite connect because he's tucked away behind a box. And they have been able to get the bomb down, but can they defend it is going to be an entirely different question. Okay, connects with a couple of shots there onto Nifty, but not enough to relieve this pressure. Nifty's just going to spend the smoke. In the meantime, Som and Sonic, and Sonic again, able to get three. But Oboe comes in big. He switches from the, uh, the Mac 10 over to the Galil. Ricky eventually flanking him from behind. Fuggy trying to stick the defuse. Ricky trying to run up the ramp in time. He's willing to be able to get here. He's actually not even peeking it. And the defuse comes through. Fugly pulls it off in a 1v1 with just 15 HP. I, I always love watching a player spin around like that. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous, but for him, it wouldn't have even made a difference because the whole point of spinning around is to stop them hitting your head. But he was on 15 HP, so any bullet would have killed him anyway. But yeah, twice now we've seen... Sneaky diffuses coming out from Envy. In positions they never should have got away with. It is doing a number on their own economy. SMGs being pulled in. And this time, it is just going to be the eco round coming out from Complexity. But the thing is, they're not allowing the CT side to ever really build up any money. So going into the next, if they can at least cause some cost here, maybe Ricky gets a kill or two, they're still going to have the opportunity to reset Envy, and that would be enough for them. They could still string a fair few rounds together on this T side. As said, we've already seen some phenomenal T sides out of many teams on this map, but we expect the T side to be the heftier of the two. So they're not by any shot out of this just yet. 
However, if they can now keep things a little bit more clean over on the other side of things, then there's actually a good opportunity for Envy to now just look to close. However, well, it doesn't seem to be going so well so far. Oh, Nifty. Down to 9 HP. Let's get away with his life and did take the galore out of the hands of Ricky. I should say I'm going to catch him out. Now the B-side control will be favoring towards Complexity, though we're still going to have Som here. We've seen Som already do some amazing things so far. Oh. Spots on Shazam. Can he actually get the planter? He comes around the corner and he doesn't quite connect the shots though as Obo pulls off the bomb, gets the kill. Now 1v2. They know where the bomb is. They know generally where he is as well. He's going to have to be the one to make the move. And he goes for Fugly, but Fugly gets the better of him with the SMG and Envy now up 12 to 8. And they're starting to get some money. I know it's been really has that they have 7.6k on Fugly, but then just about 3.5 on the rest of the players. But we're having complexity with their full buy-up. Look at this. The AKs, the AWP, the utility galore. It's going to be a tough round for Envy to win. Yeah, 12 to 8. And yeah, as mentioned, they kept them honest. So this is where complexity, they have a good shot. If they can break the economy here, they're pretty much right back into this one. The aggression of Nifty. Well, he takes a lot more damage than he dealt. Sick. We'll find the opener in towards that mid spot as well. So already looking fairly good for complexity. As mentioned, just because we've seen Envy get a few in a row definitely doesn't mean they're out of the woods just yet. There needs to be another big play, and there's been plenty of them. Shazam hoping to spot someone through the floor, but as of yet, there wasn't any aggression, although it does seem like Fugly might be about to push in that direction soon. Nifty well placed, and we'll be able to trade things. He's still tagged, so can't really get too aggressive here. And an important duel from Death is actually going to open things up. Nifty now left completely blind, but luckily his opponent was as well. So he won't fall and the Flash will catch him as well. Meaning the CT side are in a lot of trouble and may even have to just fall back and save what they've got. Complexity, they do win the round. These save weapons, well, they can't invest or shouldn't. But it does mean that They'll have something to fight with in the next. By the way, quick little update on the other series. New Identity has taken down Riot Squad 2-0. So they are now one best of three away from qualifying through in Chicago. They'll be playing against the winner of this match. And obviously, as we can see, it's not quite clear of who's going to win just yet as Complexity will be taking their ninth round. But Complexity are currently down 1-0 to zero in maps. We still have the third map of Train to come up if Complexity do take this. See Shazam at 19 kills. A fairly good game here. Fugly actually the quiet one on Envy's side was six. He's been having a rough match where in, out of the three or out of the four maps he's played so far, three of them, he's done exceptionally well. Yeah, I, I think that this is definitely a map that I, f I feel like there's a lot of players who do struggle on it. I, it, it's, it does, it's dependent on position as well, but. I think there's a lot of players who just don't like Vertigo, which, to be honest, I don't really blame them. I think there's a, a lot of teams that would happily have this removed back out for even some unfinished versions of some other maps, but that's much of a muchness. They don't get a choice. Let's bring in Tuscan, you know? Some good old CPL mill. Hell, I'd even almost take CPL fire, even that was a garbage map. Got some limitations to their economy this time, but Nifty's still going to manage to get the opener. Fugly will go down, but Som's there to trade, so keeping this man advantage going. We've seen Envy win plenty of rounds so far in this that they definitely shouldn't. And if they do go on to win this, I'm sure Complexity will be kicking themselves with the two sneak defuses they've had and the win they had with pistols as well. Bomb looking to go down. Som so close to denying it, but won't be able to, however. Sonic now coming in on the flank, times it well, doesn't get the kill, but Nifty will instead. And now Rike left with 15 HP, can't do anything. Som's there to close it. Weaponry gonna be retrieved. And that will be a 13th round on the board. And that was, again, another situation for complexity to limit their economy, to reduce it. And well, they still have, though. Look at Envy, they got two players alive. Yeah. You're gonna have 4,400 on Nifty to drop over, or not even to drop over, to buy up himself. It still won't be a clear-cut round for Envy in terms of like what they have had to buy, and I feel like they very seldomly over the course of the CT side have been able to fully buy up everything they wanted. They're lacking utility here. They do have the op picked up for Sonic, though. 
He's going to be lacking head armor, which isn't too big of a deal since he's up against the AKs and the SG. Complexity side's going to be lacking on utility as well, and, and Sonic hasn't really been allowed to be as effective as he was previously on Inferno. He's almost going to take down Fugly off the bat. Oh, he has a chance for a second as well. That flashbang not going to blind him out as he's sitting tucked away in behind the staircase. The present towards A, the presence towards A out of Envy is very lacking. And Sonic, oh, he's going to have an opportunity there, but instead he's going to retreat away, trying to stay alive. Psalm's the only one left in towards the day's sight. And Sonic, oh, do you think he's going to see the boost coming in? And no, he doesn't. Sick. Takes the head clearly off of him. A great boost coming in out of complexity to get them an even bigger advantage in this round. Nifty's going to have to do some serious work. Him and Android together to have a chance. Oh, death baited into the peak. It's at least going to give them one man back, but just look at the pressure that Nifty's about to come under. He already gets a first. It isn't actually a trade in sight, and he knows that Six is going to be coming around the corner any second now. Oh. He's out perfectly timed just behind the Molotov, and now the flash comes in as well. Nifty's just gone ham in this round. Hasn't spotted out Shazam, but he gets the information. <laughs> Throws a cone at him as well. <laughs> <laughs> now this is looking done. What can Shazam do? Bomb will be retrieved. Expects maybe some to come through, but doesn't expect the timing. 14 to 9. A big round coming out from Nifty once again within this series as he hits 19 kills. A few players equal to him, but none above. And now, while complexity, this is a decision to make. Do you play for overtime? I think probably. You know, I've been... I feel like this is one of the first times I've actually casted Nifty, but I'm really enjoying casting him. He's such a solid player hmm. in, in all aspects, it seems. Like, his aim has been phenomenal, especially over towards this B side. Able to get a spray down onto three, but takes down sick. Fugly gets one, but they've shut down the rush. Obo, the last alive with the Deagle against four, and I feel like this is going to be too much to ask for him, unfortunately. Nice. And we're going to be going into match point here for Envy in a few moments. Played a good game, but this would be, well, this would be the most, most ridiculous play of the match of the day, for sure. Can't say the week, because Montpellier was not <laughs> ridiculous. Seeing Shocks play like that, and Kenny S as well. Dear Lord, even Lucky. Yeah, I think they're two of the players that I think everybody wants to see come back. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to this uh, get right Pasha thing. If that ever happens, that'd be sick. <laughs> I highly doubt it. That'd be so sick, though. It would be a, a cool, maybe like a streamer team. That would be awesome. Yeah. Get Shroud in there. Maybe, you know, get him to play some EU games. I'd watch that. As long as it's not subscriber only stream, then yeah. I won't. <laughs> I don't know. I'd still be tempted. <laughs> All right, now Envy are tempted to get aggressive again, considering. They're one round away from making it through the finals. Still one best of three to go. But you know, they'd love to be able to attend Chicago. Play in front of an NA crowd. Salmo taking a hell of a lot of damage from the grenade, I believe, that was coming through. Down to 23 HP, but Android's going to open up with the first frag of the round. Getting them one step closer to the finals. They got smokes and complexity. They still have utilities to use, yes, but... I don't know if they're able to make this push work really well. Smoke's being thrown down, blanketing the entire site. Android, is he actually pushing through the smoke trying to get behind him? He's right next to them. He's actually going to see them walking right by. Oh! Nifty gets two, but Obo gets a spray down to two as well. Now it's going to be Sonic. Left on the side, his rotation is going to be coming through. Ricky up against three to keep Complexity's hopes alive, Tom. He's been in a few situations like this, but well, I think that pretty much defines how this ended for the guys.